everyone. Dana here with Love Sola Flowers. Um, we are going to actually do a rehab project tonight. And I'm really excited about it. Um, you can check us out on the website at lovesolaflowers.com to see uh, all the flowers I'll be using tonight. I've already have them all dyed in fall colors. So we'll see those while I make it. But I just want to talk a little bit about rehab and the ability to use things that are kind of made and you can fix them up with Sola. So let me fix this here. Let me see. Say hi if you're on, because I don't see any comments. So I um, just want to make sure I can see you guys. So say hi if you get on. Um, so yeah, so we have a sign today, and we're going to do a little rehab. And I think a lot of times people get nervous about using like kind of like a craft that's kind of half done. Okay, I see you. Hey, Shelly. It was just a little delay with the comments. So, hey everyone. So, I think sometimes maybe we feel bad like, oh, we have to like do it from start to finish and that it's not our project if we didn't do every little piece of it, if we didn't build the board and we didn't do all that. But it's just not true. And so, this is just a really, I wanted to show you guys a really quick and easy way. Hey Mary. Hey Ashley. A quick and easy way to do a rehab on something um, and then... Um, you know, be able to really turn it into something special and beautiful and yours um, without having to go crazy doing all the stuff. So let me just show you um, for an example. And this is, I've already kind of started picking it apart. Hey, Johnny, everybody. So it says give thanks. And this was, um, my cat is joining me on the table today. Um, so this was on sale. So you can get it super cheap. But a lot of times, like me, I feel like this, like, I would have to do the stenciling and I would have to pick the board and I would have to do the, you know, the painting at, or it's not, you know, whatever, but it's just not true. And so this had a couple other silk flowers in it, but what we're going to do is we're going to add our Sola and our high quality preserved fillers to make it really beautiful and to make it ours. And we don't have to feel guilty about that. So good way to do this is to go when it's not the season. Uh, that you're in, um, but right after. So like all the fall stuff will go on sale after the fall. So you would save them for the next fall or whatever. So some of these things you wanna make sure you're buying them during the cheapest season. But this is just a good way to save money and to still make something beautiful. Hey Carla, hey Donna, okay. So I'm going to take my sign and I'm gonna deconstruct it. Now, I might keep these leaves in the back because they don't bother me, they're kinda like, the fall leaves, but this cheapy stuff, I'm gonna pull this cheapy stuff out, okay? Maybe easier said than done. It, they're in a piece of foam, and, oh, let me get it out. I might just keep these little, well, here. I'm gonna keep these little fall leaves in the back, okay? I might just do that. Hey, Teresa, so what we're doing is actually a rehab. So we got this sign on sale, and we were just talking about how we can make something really, really beautiful, um, without having to do all of the work, okay? But it still be very personalized, it still be very us, and we can do our own thing. So I'm going to do my fillers first, because I like to do that, um, with like the greeny type leafy fillers, and then we do our flowers, and then we do our like little fun fillers at the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my greens, and I'm using all of Love Sola's preserved fillers here. And I don't want it too green because I do want to stick with the fall colors, but I want a couple little leaves in here. And so um, you can find the fillers on our website at lovesolaflowers.com. And uh, you can just go to the tab and click fillers, okay? And then that'll bring up everything we have. So I'm just going to stick in some of these um, willow eucalyptuses. And I'm just, I just want a few because I don't want it very green because the sign was not very green to start with. It was very oranges and reds and all that. I'm not sure I like this leaf. I'm going to take, get rid of that one. So I'm adding this. Okay. So I'm going to make a base of greenery and then I'll be able to add my flowers in after. So the other green that I'm going to use is our princess pine. And I'm gonna take a few of those. And again, I don't wanna go crazy, crazy with the green. All right, 
Now let me see if it's strong enough to stick in this foam because this little thing came with foam. I'm not sure if it's gonna be easy or not. Let's see. If not, I can just glue it directly, but it seems to be able to be strong enough that I can do this. So I'm just gonna add this. And I want maybe a piece in the back. And I'm just gonna fill it up, okay? So again, I didn't make the board, I didn't paint the board, I didn't do all the stenciling. I just got this on sale and I'm going to do it up in Sola so that it's still special and it's still me, but I didn't have to spend a ton of money or time. So like this is such a, if any of you else have not a lot of time like me, then this is the best kind of project for you. So the next thing I'm gonna do um, is add, actually let me do my, I've got some baby's breath here in two different colors. So I'm gonna add my baby's breath, some orange and some red. I'm gonna tuck those in. And again, when you build something like this, it's nice to get a good base of filler before you add your flowers because it helps with getting like a good balanced shape. Um, I know you said you could glycerin dip and dye. Yes, you can dip in glycerin and then come back to them and dye them another time. If that's I can't read your full question, Donna, because when you're on the live, you only get to see part of the question. But I think you asked me if you can glycerin dip them and then come back. You can dip them and then dye them another time. Although it's, you don't, it, it just, it takes more time. So if you're busy, you might not want to do a double duty of something like that when you can do it all in one shot. But if you have, then it's okay. Hey, Connie. Now I'm going with my red. Okay. And then we're going to arrange our flowers after we get our caspia. And I have some gold caspia. And again, if you've ever seen me build um, arrangements. We always start with our heavier duty -er, heavy duty um, greeneries first. So um, we fill with like the leafy greens and all that kind of stuff before, before we get to our kind of funner fillers. So I want to make this nice and simple. Let me just hold it up to show you where we're going so far. Okay, so I've just got my fillers. All I did was leave a little bit of their um, silk leaves in the back, but everything else is going to be Love Sola's um, preserved fillers or dry fillers. So now I'm going to do some gold caspia. I've used this so much and I still got it. Thought I'd use it up on this project. Yay! I love when people show me the things that they make with our tutorials here. I love helping you guys come up with ideas. I have so much fun doing this. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my gold caspia. And again, if it's if the foam is kind of annoying on the bottom, you can always just kind of glue it. So let me see if I can shove those stems in. I can, it is strong enough, so we're good. Let me put some here, and we just wanna be balanced. So I always work with one filler at a time um, to make sure that I spread it out evenly and that I am balanced. So I, I, I don't just like go back and forth different fillers. Um, I stick with one and I complete it till it's done. And then I come back. We did have, I don't know if you, you know, had seen um, the last video when we announced that our Caspia was back in stock. So if you're looking for Caspia, um, almost all the colors are in stock. So you can grab those. It's good to start thinking about your wintry type fillers and fall fillers because, you know, they do sell out when people start to get busier in their businesses. So, okay, so I've got my base. I've got some Caspia. I got some baby's breath and I left the leaves. I got princess pine and just a few of the willow leaves. So now I'm gonna add my flowers, and I like to kind of start with um, the um, 
like one up tall and one up low just to kind of get my shape. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And you want to do your bigger flowers towards the bottom and your smaller flowers be your taller. Okay, so I wanna place my first one in, which is gonna be one of my taller ones, just to see the height that I'm going for. Okay, so let me show you. So I placed my flower. What is the good whitish filler that is in baby's breath? Well, there's star flowers and those are a natural color. That isn't baby's breath. What else is white? I'm trying to think what else is white. There's also um, candy tuft we have sometimes. I don't know what colors we have right now, but we also have that too, um, sometimes too. So, and then I wanna do the, my base flower, okay? So I did my up tall flower. Now I wanna take one of my bigger flowers and do my base flower, and then that way it gives me my shape of where I don't really wanna go much higher. Um, and then my lowest one as well. So I'm gonna place that one. All right, I went right through because the foam is a little weird here. Okay, so now we're just gonna build. Hi, Abby. Now I'm just gonna start building. I'm gonna play with my colors. Again, my smaller flowers are going to go up tall and my bigger flowers, my more fuller flowers are going to stay closer to the bottom. So I'm just gonna layer. Um, a good plan of layering when you do this is to have the top of one of your flowers meet the bottom of your other flower. And that's a good way to, you know, um, layer it down, um, is to have the top of one flower go to the bottom of the other. That is a closed eclipse. That's what it looks like when you um, open it up and dye it. So, hey, Christina. Yeah, that's a close, and actually these are the closed clips that are in our TLC um, because they were a little bit different than the original design. So Sultan put them on um, a TLC. They're perfectly perfect. They're just different than the original design. So, okay, so again, I'm kind of just working my layers. All right. Let me see what color I want here. Here's another small one. Don't want to get too heavy with the colors. I want to make sure that I've distributed it the way I want to. So I'm just kind of planning a little bit before I start sticking in. I kind of want these two guys, even though they're the same color, to kind of be next to each other like they were kind of on the same stem. Okay. And again, I'm layering by putting the top of one flower to the bottom of another. I want to tuck this guy in the back. Let me tuck him in the back. And then I'm going to put some red in the front so we kind of get all the colors in all the different places. But it's just such an easy way to really not spend a lot of money, not spend a lot of time, but it's still your design. It's still the high quality um, fillers and flowers from Love Sola, and you didn't go crazy. And these are kind of good things to sell at craft shows. I know a lot of craft shows have been canceled, um, but if you have them now starting up again, I know that there's a lot of farmers markets that are starting back up um, in the fall. These are a great way to make quick and easy projects so that um, you don't have to like kill yourself. You don't have to kill yourself. And you can still make something beautiful and you can still make something special and you can still make something yours, but you were able to save money on the materials because if I were to try to make this and I bought a board, if I bought a board and I bought a tin thing and I bought the foam and I bought all that kind of stuff, if I had done that all by myself, um, it would be way more expensive than just rehabbing this already made on sale board. So I'm gonna hold it up once I get the flowers in. And again, I'm just layering them in. And then we have some fillers to go in between them as soon as I get my flowers placed. Again, I always start with my fillers and greens that are bulkier, leafier, and kind of my fillers. 
And then we move on to the special things. I have some star flower. Got some stuff in my hair. I got some star flower. I got some canela. And then if I need extra baby's breath in there, I'll poke it through on in there. So, all right, this is my last, oh no, this isn't the one I wanted. I wanted this guy. This guy I wanted. I do farmer's market every week. Yeah, and if you do farmer's markets, um, you know, you know you have to have a lot of pieces for people to look through. And so sometimes it gets stressful if you're having to do your own like stenciling and everything, like nobody's got time for that. All right, I placed my flowers. Did you see how, ugly? well, go back, if, you, if you're just joining us, go back to the beginning of this video and see how ugly this was. Look how pretty, and I haven't even put the fillers on the inside yet. So pretty. I might even put this on my door for Thanksgiving. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. Now I did have moss here, because I was wondering if I wasn't gonna fill down in there, but I did, so I don't need any moss. But if you have a big space, you may wanna put some moss in there. I'm gonna just tuck in some of these yellow star flowers. So these are from La Sola. Um, they are star flower filler, the best quality I've ever used. They're super strong, like the stems are actually strong stems and you can easily grab these little bundles. And I'm gonna add this pop of yellow in between some of these flowers to make the colors pop. And I just glue a bunch and slide it on in there. And I keep them in little bundles and I don't need a lot. Again, this is not, a, you don't have to make this a crazy costly thing. The whole point is to save money. So you don't need to go crazy. But just some touches, to, like change the whole thing. Like this yellow is going to do a lot for this project, but I don't need a ton of it. I'm going to put a little bit over here and maybe one really tall one. But it's just so much easier because I've done stenciling and I... I'm a stencil fail. I really am. That's the one thing I just am not good at. Maybe because I don't have the patience or whatever, but I'm not good at stenciling. And so I just avoid it at all costs. So I much prefer something like this where it's already done for me. I really am. If anyone can help me. I mean, I've watched videos. I've tried all that and I'm just not good at stenciling. So I'm going to do this last one up here. Oops, I need some more glue. And then I will hold it up and I'll show you uh, the other fillers I'm gonna pop on in there. And I don't wanna go too high or too crazy because it does say give thanks on it. So I don't wanna cover up my words. Okay, let me hold it up. So see what that yellow did? It just really brightens it up. See how pretty? And then I'm just gonna pop in um, where is it? Oh, some more of this little caspia in between now the flowers that it's here. Um, let me grab a couple more heads of it. Okay, so this is when you can go back to your fillers. Um, you know, I said I only do one filler at a time, but once we put our flowers down, we can go back. And now we get to do the fun part of adding all these little details. Adding the details, okay. All right, I'm gonna do one more of this up at the top. And then I think I'm just gonna add my canela. I don't wanna go too crazy. We don't want it to be like so jam-packed that you can't see anything. Okay. Again, if you just are joining us, go take a look at what this started like did not look like this. This was actually like last year it was like 80% off. One of my girls actually bought it when she was in the store. She saw it and she's like, can you use this for something? And I was like, I think I can. And it was not the fall, but we knew that we would get here again. So we uh, bought it then and it's been sitting in my basement for a year now, just waiting to get rehabbed. So and give thanks, you know, if you didn't want it to turn very, very Thanksgiving-y, you could have used other colors even. So don't feel like you have to have the theme even that it started with. I could have went totally match something else if I really wanted to. Okay. All right, okay. 
okay? So I just have some canela I'm gonna add in there, and again, um, the fillers, all of these fillers were the preserved fillers for Love Sola Flowers. The only thing that's faux is I left a couple of those leaves in there that it came with. Basically everything I took back out. Now if you ever ordered canela, um, you can just break it off into pieces. And they look like little pine cones. They actually have like a little rattle in them. And I'm just gonna add these a couple places. I just hose it down with glue and um, pop it on in after that. And these are cute little fillers, these little berry type looking things. Berries are very in, um, in these things. These are like, everything has berries in it now. And I know why, because it's beautiful. So I'm just gonna add these. I think I'm gonna do one more. I wanna find something long and skinny, so give me a second. I wanna find a, So I think I'm just gonna try to tuck this back there. Let me see. Yeah, and then I'll be done. And unless I wanna do one up high, then I will be done. And look how fast this is. If I were to try to get a board the size I want, if I were to try to get a little tin that I can use, anything that I would have done on my own wouldn't have looked as nice because I am not a stenciler. <laughs> so um, some of you love to use all that kind of stencil stuff, but I just am not good at it. And so I will pass that all to you who sell those things, but I can't. So this is just a problem solver for me. And let me show you. Okay, can you see that up close? Look how fast and easy that was, guys. All right. We mixed a bunch of different fall colors. We used all that nice, high quality filler. So we turned something that was a couple dollars. The sign on sale was a couple dollars because again, we bought it after Thanksgiving. So it was when the clearance was like 75%. And so this was super duper cheap and we made it look really beautiful. So it was cheapy. I'll show you again. Not that you can't use these and not that this is bad, but we just did a step up from this stuff. Now, I mean, this stuff you can use even, like I pulled it out of this because it was so visible, but you can tuck these things into other things and them not look so bad. But the whole point of it was to take something that was kind of on the cheaper side, on the fake side, and turn it into real and sola and make it super duper beautiful. And then you don't have to worry about any of that. So I love it. I hope you guys love it. Um, I hope it gives you some ideas about shopping even for the next season and thinking about um, redoing stuff, you know? Not always having to start from scratch because it, just starting from scratch doesn't make it um, any more special. You could start and it and be cheaper by the time you're finished with it. So I hope this gives you some good ideas. Uh, I hope you love it as much as I love it. I love the fall, it's my favorite season. So yeah, I wanna see all your rehab projects so you guys can join our community group. Uh, Christina, I don't even know. I don't do farmer's markets or anything like that. So I just stick to weddings basically. <laughs> and I do it home decor for here, but I don't know. I would say you could sell it for, it's a lot of flowers and a lot of filler. I'm gonna say you could sell it probably for about $75. So that's what I would think because it does have a very large bouquet. I mean, it's very big. Um, I don't know if you can tell. So I would say probably about 75. Um, cause I think the original price of the, just the, the junky one was like 30 something. And then we got it obviously for a couple bucks, but, um, yeah, now with all this fancy stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just have fun redoing stuff like this. Um, but yeah, so I was saying if you, um, redo things, we want to see your rehab projects and you can post it in our community group, which we did change the name. If you hadn't noticed, we wanted to make it easier for everybody to find it was just easier to shorten it up. So it is facebook.com slash group, groups with an S, slash love sola flowers. Okay, that way it was really easy for you to find our group without us having to type a bunch of stuff. So that was facebook.com slash groups slash love sola flowers. And we would love to see your rehab uh, projects as well. So have a great night, guys.